The brass I'm using for this project is from a local factory. They produce brass ammunition cartridges. It's a byproduct that they produce, and I was able to get my hands on some of it. So it's safe to say you'll probably see a couple more brass and epoxy projects. For this project, I'm using Total Boat's 2 to 1 high performance epoxy for no particular reason other than I had it in my shop, um, and that's what I use for most of my projects. I used about a total of 50 ounces um, for this, this project. You can see me using a torch here as I'm stirring the epoxy, and that is to pop any bubbles or as many bubbles as possible before I pour. Um, it also increases the viscosity um, in how the epoxy flows. Now that the epoxy is dry and cured, um, I took it over to my table saw to square up the ends using my cross cut sling. The next step is to, to flatten both sides of this piece. I debated on how to do this, whether to run this through my planer, which I thought was a bad idea because of the brass shavings. I settled on using my CNC machine um, to level it. I'm using a bowl and tray bit to do this. I don't have an official stock leveling bit. They're pretty expensive too, but I figured I could get this bowl and tray bit to work. Overall, I took off about a sixteenth of an inch on both sides to get the entire piece flat. This brought the final stock thickness to three quarters of an inch. Now that it's flat, let's carve the tray. Now for the exciting part, sanding. No, not really. But there was a lot of sanding involved. I started with 80 grit, uh, and then I the final sanding was with 120 grit. I had a little blowout right here from the CNC bit, and so I'm using CA glue to fix it and it'll sand and you won't even be able to see the difference. Once I got the rough sanding done, I took the piece over to my router table and with a round over bit, put a nice round over on the outside edges. Okay, now all the shaping and sanding is finished. So now it's the time to apply the finished coat. I decided to go with a brushed on coat of the same epoxy that it is made out of. One trick that I've picked up when you're doing um, pores like this that'll spill over the edge is to tape off the edges. Um, that way the epoxy won't run down onto your finished side. You can just peel the tape off and it'll be a nice clean edge. <laughs> 